I had the opportunity to meet them um, in 2010, I think it was, when they came over with uh, the very famous production of August Osage County by Tracy Letts, also a, a member of the company. I was directing uh, Our Town by Thornton Wilder uh, for City Theatre Company, which we were putting on at the Opera House. And um, traditionally, you know, each, each the, at the end of your rehearsal room run, you have the, um, you have the, the company run, and sometimes quite a few people from the company would come in, pop in, and have a look, you know, and other times not so many, and this is one of those occasions where it was not so many until the entire uh, company of August Osage County, arguably the best play ever put on in the last 20 years in the United States, if not the world, walked into our company run. Uh, you know, we didn't have costumes yet, some of the actors were not so confident with their with their American accents yet, etc. You know, had people like Josh Kwong Tart and um, Maeve Dermody, you know, wonderful actors. And I remember Maeve turning and looking at me as if to say, "What? What? Are you, what's the big idea? Why? What? What do you, what do you, you think this is going to help us having the best company in the world and the best current play in the world come in and watch our unput together show?" of Thornton Wilder's Our Town, which is the number one play that any American drama student has ever done. You know, and, um, and so there was kind of a panic that, that ran, through, ran through the rehearsal room as they all walked in. Um, and it's really interesting the way that, what, what I felt was that Steppenwolf, the ethos of their company moved into the room with us. And um, they met us on the level that I suspect they meet all other dramatic artists on. Um, and what was very clear was they were there to, to re-explore the work with us as equals. And of course, you know, so many American actors have performed in our town before, so we also had that lovely experience of, of members of the company coming up and saying, who's playing Emily? I was Emily in, in my high school production in, you know, when I was 16 years old, etc. Um, and so that put us a little at ease. We still hadn't thrown our American accents at them just yet. Um, and so the show began. Darren Gilshan came out as the stage manager and everyone sat down, uh, you know, there was sort of, you know, Debbie from Accounts, me, Duncan Graham, my sister director, and Steppenwolf all just sat there like this, ready to watch the show. And the thing that struck me, which I think is a, a, the greatest lesson I've learned from them really so far, is that, um, that they came to the production and informed the production in, by the process of communing with us on the floor in the moment and elevated just their presence, just their support and their, and it's not Pollyanna support, you know, it's not, um, it's not, hey, great, you guys are wonderful. They were attending to the drama that we were doing and um, responding to the, the very great risks that, that we were taking in that production and, um, and returned the ball. And so we went through the entire company run, uh, and then there was a brief moment where the, the play finished on its particular, it's a very special Our Town note. And um, I turned to look, half dead, scared to look, but I turned to look, half expecting them still to be a little bit, well, nice try. But that was when it occurred to me that they were inside the moment with the actors, propelling them along wet faces on all both sides. And that was the moment that I thought, that's why that's the best company in the world. That's why they make the best shows in the world. That's why every time they get up on stage, they create a new universe of experience, something fresh, something unknown, something powerful and connected by craft and kinship, you know? Um, and it was just what my actors needed. And what an extraordinary act of generosity from a company like that to say, you're on the right path. 
you know. And then later on to have the wonderful experience of Jeff Perry, you know, say, come on, let's have a talk, I want to talk to you later, you know, and, and buying me a beer and then going right inside my directorial choices as well. Um, And not just, not saying, hey, nice try, you know, Sunshine, but it was more like, I can see what you're doing with the ringmaster tone. I think you can, you can just gear it down a little bit because there's some, there's some more important and there's some more subtle information to get in there. And, and if, you, if you push it too high, you know, so that level, of, that level of engagement on it. And so we must have spoken for four hours, you know. And then the last thing he did was rub me on the back and say, you're on the right path, keep it up. You know, and that's, and now I'm here talking about them. Um, having the career that I've had because of that sort of engagement. And so any opportunity that you might have to, to sit with Amy Morton, Audrey Francis, you know, who are the, the real thing, you know, uh, should be taken because these people will see you and they'll deliver the ball back, but they'll also expect you to rise up to the plate and return, you know, and um, what an extraordinary thing to have that opportunity. Steppenwolf for coming to 16th Street. It's like Dusa coming or something, you know, it's huge, huge, yeah.